arrived in Grand Forks, BC, and we're staying here. <laughs> we walked in pairs of two. Good morning. I'm stumbling out of my hotel to go try and find a coffee. We've got the golden chopsticks here. So I have a few hours to kill before I have to go to the gig. I'm gonna go look around, find something to do outside. This is the most fun I have, aside from playing the show, obviously, but just getting out and not really having a concrete plan, just go try and find something to do. Like maybe rent a bike. And this may just be the place to do it. Bikes for rent. I just happened to stumble onto this awesome bike shop here, here in Grand here, Forks here. called Seasons. And this awesome gentleman here, Seamus, is helping me out with a bike. Yeah. So you. I'm all set. I got my map, got my bike. We're going to venture out and see what we can find. All right, let's do this. This is the old Trans Canada Railway line. So it's like the rail bed. And this is the railway station. This region in British Columbia, Canada is famous for its wines. As famous as Canadian wine is, this is where it comes from now. You can see up in the hill there's a vineyard. Pretty in here. Poison ivy. Forgot all about the stuff. It's a cousin to our poison oak that we have in California. Wow. Incredible view. This could almost be central California. Except for the trees, there's a little more birch. We could be in like San Luis Obispo or something. I'm trying to get to these waterfalls. I'm kind of running out of time because I have to get back to get picked up for sound check, get ready for the gig, but I really want to get to the falls, so I'm turning up the power a little bit, so I want to get there. Sadly, I'm not going to make the falls. I just ran into another biker on the trail, and it's a little bit far. I need to save some some legs for the gig, so I'm gonna have to turn back, but it's all good. It's been amazing, and I'm gonna get a drone shot on the way back. I know where I'm gonna stop. Off to the gig time, let's go. Oh, there's nobody here to pick me up yet. You don't always get the best hotel when you're out here on the road, but you make the most of it. Get a little malfunction with the modem. Here's a trick some of you may not know. The modem's not working. You just unplug it. <laughs> Can't really do it one-handed, but... And I'll just put it back neatly where I found it. Still waiting on my ride. At least I'm looking good anyway. started playing nothing worked nothing was there was no lead vocal there was no anything coming out the PA so we ended up just stopping at the end of the first song <laughs> God. 
God, stop. Uh, so, at the time, it was excruciatingly embarrassing. We had no PA. We basically just walked off stage. Only one other time in my career have I been more embarrassed on stage, and that was getting booed off stage opening for Nirvana a long time ago. So we went off stage, we waited around for 20 minutes, then we went back on stage and we played a 40 minute set. So we kind of redeemed ourselves. Just one of those gigs. You just kind of got to brush it off and move on to the next one. Thanks everyone for sticking around to watch that. We'll see you soon in the next one. Peace.